What's good, my brethren? What's good, family? You know, in this video, it just hit me. And when I feel inspired to do a video, that's when I do it, man. And I think this is a very um, deep telling video. So far as its level of importance in understanding uh, like your role and your lane and the people, who, your women, your family, your children, Everybody, this is a deep video so far as role, uh, you know, definition. Okay, here we go. So I was just, it just hit, hit, my, hit me. I don't do no scripts and stuff. So, for the most part, you know, but anyways, man, I was thinking about this, man. Responsibility equals control. Control equals responsibility. And I forgot where I got that term from. It was some like business book or something I read a while ago. It was talking about control equals responsibility. More so like you got to take responsibility for your success and you, the something to do like basically when it comes to business it's better to have control over your investments as opposed to giving them over to somebody else. Unless that person's an expert. And stuff. But I'm going to parallel that into me, you, as being a man. We are only, we should only be responsible for that which we control. How can you be responsible for something that you don't control? And I was thinking about women, and I was thinking about children. I was thinking about glory, trophy, honor, and dishonor. And here we go. And I was thinking about how that, I was looking at uh, Morpheus, the guy who played Morpheus, Lawrence Fishburne, in The Matrix. Phenomenal actor, deep cover, uh, different movies. Man, you know, outstanding actor. The man has went, uh, you know, and built himself up over the years. He was, he'd been a lot. He's a really great actor, man. I, it was one movie when it was like a collapse of the world kind of a movie, and I forgot the name of that movie, but he was like uh, some kind of guide. You know, he plays a good guide in movies and stuff, but it was like, it was in snow and ice, and it was a collapse of America, something like that. Female super, female hero, you know, cap, cap factory, you know what I mean? But anyways, Lawrence Fishburne is, is a phenomenal actor, uh, brother, and as many of us know, See, we talking about what? Family, we talking about women, we talking about honor, we talking about dishonor. We, and we talking about control equals responsibility. And responsibility equals control. Lawrence Fishburne's daughter went and did porn. She is a prostitute. And so, and you know, some East, hey man, some Arabs, man, uh, you know, Middle Easterns, man, they're, they're, they're either delete or they either, uh, you know, discommunicate their daughters from being in the family and getting, you know, you are cut off from the family. You are cut off socially. You are out there. You see, that's control. That's control. See, what women want in Western society, American society, they want men to be responsible, but the women don't want to be controlled. Microphone drop. They want... You to be responsible. We need men to do this. Men don't protect black women. Women, men don't. Uh, men supposed to traditionally. Men, if you ask a woman out on a date, then a woman is supposed to. Uh, a use of is a man. You supposed to step up and pay for this and pay for that. Uh, traditionally, well, let's go real traditionally, because traditionally, a woman is a virgin. Traditionally, uh, uh, the construct is a patriarchy, meaning. That the it's the man, the head of the house. See, they want men in spots to be the head of the house. They want to be responsible for all of when things go wrong. Oh, also somebody coming into the house, they breaking the ah, ah, you know, they breaking the door. Oh, now you as a man need to step up right at that moment and be responsible. Now you as a man, because all this, uh, 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 this chaos is happening. Now you as a man need to step up and be responsible and control the situation. 
and then now after the situation is taken care of, now bow down again and get back back into your uh, sin position and let me as a female elevate and, and control you and tell you what to do. See, women want uh, selective masculinity. No, 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 no. Don't work that way. Brothers who care about themselves, who have self value and self-confidence and understand that they are the prize. Brothers like us understand it's all or nothing. There ain't none of this buffet line. I'm going to pick and choose when and when not to be a female thing. I'm going to pick and choose when I demand masculinity from you. Other than that, controlling, oh, you're controlling. That's toxic. That's toxic, toxic masculinity. Oh, okay. Now it's toxic. But when you want me to protect you and delete, possibly delete another man from coming into the house and put my life on the line, now that, quote, masculine, masculinity that was toxic, poof, magically it becomes what you're supposed to be doing. So you see what I mean? So what, the, 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 the frustrating part is that in the Western culture, things are flipped upside down. Women define what masculinity is. They can't even define what is a woman. They can't even define what a woman's supposed to be doing with female roles. So it's it's damn whites, uh, damn Western society. Yeah, you know I mean, damn this place. Yeah, you know I mean, damn America. Yeah, you know I mean, damn this place. All right, this place is on vapors. You know what I mean? Like you're driving a car and you're like, dang, I got to make it to the gas station. I got one, almost a gallon of gas. Your car putting. It's on fume. You might make it to the gas station. Might not. Right? It's putting. That's how America is, bro. So you, we don't have to deal with this whole feminist, BS, toxic, female feminism joint in situation too much longer. I don't know when the flip gonna happen, but it's gonna be a powerful flip. So I was thinking re- control equals responsibility. Responsibility equals control. So this is my main point I was thinking about. Okay. As a man, you are, oh, so back to the example of Lawrence Fishburne. Okay, so his daughter did corn, right? C-O-R-N, P-O-R-N, right? She did porn out. She had 304. She, 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 this dude, um, built up every, it's like this, this, like it's, it's, I haven't followed this in, in a minute. What I'm saying is like, when yo, oh man, it, it's like, okay, let me put it like this. Your children and your woman can bring honor or they can bring shame. They can be a trophy unto dishonor or honor. And in other cultures, if this woman dishonors her husband or her father, she can be literally deleted or she can be excommunicated from the family construct. Why? Because the man controls the freaking construct. Why? It's a freaking patriarchy. He risking everything. He's looked upon as though he should give his life for those who are under his control, under his household, his kingdom. So it's something, you know, yes, if you have control over your kingdom and your subjects or your, your, your wife, your children, your family, your house, your construct, your little kingdom is somebody trying to break in. Yeah, you're going to step up to protect what's yours. You're going to step up to protect what's under your control. That's man, manhood, not defined by, oh, he makes this amount of money or he's this tall or I feel him now. Nah, your masculinity is not predicated upon what some bitch got to say about who you are as a man. <laughs> who is she to define? Who, 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 is, who is a woman to define you as a man? We, we got to purge ourselves mentally and baptize ourselves and, and burn off that feminism. Oh, man, it's, it's a deep, deeply embedded cap factory, man, here in America. It's like what's promoted uh, through the movies and the music is sympathy, sympathy, sympathy. And this is something I was throwing around. It's something I was thinking about, too, man. This is something I was thinking about. 
Now, I think I'm going to get back to my original uh, point of view. But I was thinking about animals, beasts, how they have no uh, like law, like thou should not kill, thou should not steal, thou should not covet, love your neighbor as yourself. Animals, eh, animals, they beasts, brute, animal beasts. I want her. I'll kill the other animals so that I can get his women. That is brute, is brutality, is carnal, it's animalistic, right? And so toxic femininity and toxic masculinity is equal to animals, beasts, you know, freaking Komodo. <laughs> I've seen this, man. It was brutal. <laughs> it was brutal. It was brutal as heck. See, that, that's what that's, that's what I really like watching. Uh, animal channels, animal stuff, because you can see brutality, like without the laws of the most high, men are basically brute beasts, similar to animals, but actually worse than animals. That's that's a microphone drop. Now that's two. Because men without law and understanding of right and wrong and discipline is worse than animals. For example, an animal will basically kill so that he can feed his hunger and belly. I've oh, for example, a um, a lion will kill you know a gazelle or whatever. If there's a couple of other ones there, they kill them too. Why? Because it's an abundance. But after that, they eat, and they're like, "Ugh, let's go up on a tree, <sighs> boom, lay down and go to sleep for a few hours." That's what lions do. They gorge themselves. They fight over the food, and after they done fighting, there ain't nothing left. It's just bones for the for the scraps for the hyenas to come and eat. And after that, the 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 jackals, and after that, the the ravens and the you know go vultures can fight over. It's like it's levels. It always is the same exact thing. The lions at the top, boom, boom, boom. And then jackals, and boom, 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 down to the freaking ants, and then the maggots. Everybody gets a piece of the carcass, but they get. A broken down piece of the carcass. Yeah, you know I mean. So what I'm saying, that's how human beings are. So they, you know, there is toxic femininity or toxic female nature, and there's toxic male nature. You understand me? So let's, man, I, I didn't plan to get into that into this video, but it's cool. Let's go. So toxic uh, masculinity. Let's. The real definition of toxic masculinity would be essentially men coveting basically animals. I want that woman. Yeah, she got a man, but I don't care. He need to be up on his game. I'm taking her. Yeah, she choosing me. She out of pocket. I'm going to slip in there and grab her anyway. Smash her. Then dude get angry. Forget this nigga. Pow, pow, pow. Right? That's toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity is not, hey, you my woman. You shouldn't be looking at other dudes and I don't want you on Instagram and I don't want your booty cheeks showing to hey, all these other. You need to dress this way and then dress that way. That's not toxic masculinity. But a woman, because she don't, she, her uh, toxic femininity or toxic female nature, hypergamy and stuff, want, see, we all have, uh, you know, uh, uh, for lack of a better term, we all have uh, cruel, uh, crude, animalistic, carnal nature. And, you know, the spirit, uh, you know, it's about getting rid of, uh, or, or basically not necessarily getting rid of, but at the same time, controlling the animalistic. Because it's always a fight between a, to do the right thing or base, basically be carnal, be animalistic, sinful, do what you want to do, do as I will, right? So, you know, the, the, fee, the toxic male, they, I, I want it, I body this dude and take it, right? Oh, she look good, she looking at me, I want it, boom, that's mine. Or, you know, just to covet somebody else. But then that's what the most high's law say, thou shall not covet. So when it comes to a woman, her toxic female nature is hypergamy. She with this dude, oh, the other dude got a more shinier car and he makes more money. He's taller. Oh, and he got bigger muscles. Uh, by um, dude number one, I'm going to do number three. That's toxic uh, femininity, right? Or toxic female nature. Good example of this. So we talked about 
toxic uh, male nature. Now let's talk about toxic or carnal or animalistic or beastly male nature, or beastly female nature. Let's talk about be beastly female nature. <laughs> you look at, you see, you see, uh, <laughs> you see, uh, yeah, a lot of the dating coaches and stuff really cater to, uh, I can't say all of them. No, no I can't say. I, I would say that they main thing is about, well, I'll say more so pastor. Uh, man, <sighs> let me just leave it like that, man. Basically, a lot of men is like not caring about what's right and wrong. They're caring about, I want this chick. He got her. I don't care. I want her. So that's toxic male nature. When it comes to the female, her nature is, oh, I like this uh, dude. He's taller than my dude I'm with. I'm leaving him and I'm going to him. Or I'm going to stay with both him, but I'm going to be with the other dude. And if he say anything, oh, oh, poof, magically, oh, he's to he, he's insecure. He's toxically, ma uh, toxically masculine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean, so brute animalistic nature, when we come to females, like, Kim Kardashian, for example. Okay, you know, I'm going to be a 304, Monkey Branson, next dude, Monkey Branson, next dude, get more resources from this dude. And then finally, when I get the dude who got all his money, then I'm going to pop out a couple, I think, a couple, three money babies. So now my financial posi future position is secured. Then go and do be more. It's like she embodies female 304 nature <laughs> like Kim Kardashian is that that 304 bruh so you see examples of toxic and animalistic brutish cruel beastly nature of the male and also of the female these natures must be kept in check that's why they got laws against deleting people and laws against this and that but the most highest law is the most high the bible you understand me? Which give you all this stuff laid down. Anyway, I just wanted to... Something I was thinking about toxic and detriment and, and, and beastly male nature and beastly female nature. So it's not that... All the things... See, the, the problem is that there's a... See, male uh, males have uh, destructive natures and animalistic carnal and beastly natures... And women have animalistic, destructive, hyper-destructive, and carnal, beastly natures. Uh, natures, And it's not that the males in their original state is better than the females in their original state. But I, I really lean towards, yeah, male, males going usually. But I would say I put it like this. Oh, back to the dating coach. Okay. So dating coaches essentially um, put a plan together as to how they, number one, can extract resources from sex-deprived dudes and to make them... Uh, how to deal with female nature, which I, I ain't saying really that is bad because some of the dudes have figured out all right, certain strategies in dealing with... They're not really talking about how to uh, kind of... They're not talking about patriarch, uh, patriarchal construct. They're talking about how do we deal in this culture has messed up and how we deal with these really more morally deprived carnal females and we just gotta deal with it this is the way it is yeah, women's like this we gotta deal with it you know what I mean they ain't really thinking about you know the laws of the most high and all that stuff man like yo man yeah, yeah. but they just you know they trying to get some money you know what I mean but I mean you know it's I understand it because if you ain't thinking on a higher level, you think like, all right. The one thing about the dating coaches I don't really like is that they never really address the issue of environment and location. They talk about how you dress, how you need to hit the gym. Women like a man who, what do they say? How you dress, how much money you make, how you hit the gym. All that stuff is external. But the other external that hardly ever, ever, ever is addressed is environment and location upon the actual earth. Like, they don't really address that, right? Because you already know if they say, well, hey, you need to go, <laughs> you need to go, you need to go like, you know what I mean? Another country, DR, and just show up there. 
and you will get because you place yourself in a different environment, you're gonna get more. You know what I mean? Uh, some some of them have addressed that. They do these uh, they do these relationship kind of getaways or whatever. What do you call it? not getaways, but like um, hook up. Like they have like I've seen this one video where this one white dude went. What would they call that man? Like a, a uh, pay like five thousand dollars and get and uh, you get. And it's a dude that set it up, you know what I mean? Which is, a, you know, a good business, actually. You $5,000 to fly a dude over to the Ukraine when really all he had to do was really just, <laughs> you know, set it up himself. But anyway, he's paying this this guide $5,000 to go to the Ukraine. And it's about 20 good-looking Ukrainian chicks already pre-screened and filtered. And this lonely American dude with a decent income or whatever go to the Ukraine. He's dead. What was it? It was like a date. I seen though. He was even on Dateline or ABC or something years ago. Point is, a lot of dating coaches don't really address location. And so the dude, he went to the Ukraine. He's like, oh yeah, it's so many beautiful women. They're all hitting on me. And so he was like a 50 year old white dude, which, which is what it is. You change your location. You look, man, it's like real estate. It's about location, 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 man. The same exact 1,000 square foot house in Detroit for a hundred thousand dollar value. Take that same exact three bedroom, you know, 1,000 square foot house, pick it up, put it in, uh, you know, Beverly Hills, California, plop it down on a small acreage. That mug gonna go for like six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars. Why? Because location, 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 location. So a lot of, even with the Passport Bros movie, a lot of brothers are like, yo, I'm getting really raggedy, pathetic results with women. They're in their carnal, toxic, beastly uh, realm. And the culture, the legal system, cosigns their beastly, animalistic, hypergamous ways in their nature. Male nature which is to have a bunch of kids by a bunch of different chicks, that's punished in America. Her to have a bunch of different kids by a bunch of different dudes, oh, that's uh, rewarded here in America. So a lot of dudes are calculating it. It's like, you know, you know what I mean? This is uh, not good. So what I'm going to do is uh, change locations. Just say you change that thousand, you know, a thousand square foot house, put it in. I mean, you can literally pick up the same exact thousand square foot house, pick it up from Detroit, hundred thousand out, and plop it in Beverly Hills, nine hundred two one zero. You know what I mean? Probably worth a million dollars, literally, not figuratively. Same exact thing happened with a brother. Same standard, regular black man here in America picks himself up, goes to boom, 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 name the place. His status is elevated. Same thing with a woman who is a average good-looking woman in, say, Brazil. She's like a 7'8", international 7'8", all right? Not just, you know, she's a literally really pretty chick. Pick her up, plop her. In, in Brazil, she got to compete for men. She can't just be good-looking. She got to compete. Why? Because there's other 7s, 8s, 9s walking around all the time. Regular women are 7s, 8s, and 9s. I've seen that personally in Colombia, regular. So pick her up, but that's why women love America because now she can plug into, beep, pick her up, take her out of Colombia, pick her up, take her out of Philippines, beep, pick her up, take her out of Brazil, beep, and take her right to America. Poof, that locational change. Now she has 10 X her freaking uh, value because she now she in a higher income uh, country with, men who demand less of her and men who are way more sex deprived and she does not have to compete at all. Location, location, location. So that's just something I was thinking about. Toxic female uh, nature and toxic mask, uh, male nature are when either one of them is bad. Carnal nature of man is bad because he I body this dude and take his woman. Bodies do take his money, right? Toxic female nature is she'll body his reputation and take his kids and jump to his fr best friend, right? That's that's very toxic. But where's the punishments? In America, there's no punishments for this. Socially, legally, it's it's not punished. As a matter of fact, it's 180 and it's promoted and it's financially rewarded. So that being the case. 
that's why it's just about legal system, construct, culture, and location. You know what I mean? So that's just something I was thinking about, man. I was thinking about toxic female and male culture, uh, 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 nature, and uh, how both of them are very, 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 very bad. You know what I mean? So, like, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 women ain't really seen toxic masculinity. She look at a dude who's trying to control the situation and it's her to not, you know, give up her box to everybody. And so, you, you know, so she look at that as a controlling and it's all this toxic or a guy coming up to her and say, hey, you, you're, a, you're a good looking woman. How are you doing today? Oh, that's toxic masculinity. Or what? A man, man spreading. He's, he's sitting there chilling on a bus or a train with his legs open. Oh, that's man spreading. That's toxic masculinity. Or like, dude, <laughs> What's crazy is that she prefers dudes who are toxic. In and out of jail, dude, pants sagging. Yep, yep, yep. She wants that guy. Yep, 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 yep. That's who she wants. It's all bull crap. Uh, so now back to my original point. Control equals responsibility and responsibility equals control. Back to uh, Morpheus, uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Now, uh, he, uh, as I understand, he uh, basically said that he don't want to deal, you know, and have nothing to do with his daughter no more because she has uh, played a harlot. So what I'm saying is control equals responsibility. Responsibility equals control. And I was thinking about this. The bottom line of what I was thinking about is this, brothers. The Everything is about you as a man. It's all about us. It's about how we judged. How we are judged kind of like you know what I mean? How we are judged. Like, for example, a woman, like kids, they get an excuse. Oh, this is just a kid. Woman, she get an excuse. Oh, well, you know, she's just a woman. Right? Oh, then she can play the victim. Oh, I'm, I'm just a woman. I was emotional. Right? Uh, but at the same time, screaming from the high heels how strong and independent she is. But then when some adversity comes, oh, I'm just a woman. He's the man. He's supposed to be, you know. So what I'm saying is that the buck stops with us. The buck stops with us. So since the buck stops with us, the responsibility stops with us. You understand me? We only need to be responsible for that which we control. So you look at Lawrence Fishburne, he couldn't control it. So like I said, my main point is that Yo, children, people that's under you, people that uh, is looked upon as like your, um, because beyond the cap factory, beyond the BS, everybody knows that the man, everybody with common sense understands that the man is the head, period, point blank. He is the head. He is the top. He is a king. He's an H-N-I-C. Or the HNIC, excuse me. The head dude in charge. Everybody knows this. This is why men are judged, and everybody, you know, the kids, oh, well, you know, she was, oh, this happened. Or the, uh, uh, the woman, oh, well, you know, well, he did this to me. He was controlling. Everybody can play like the victim and stuff. But the man, <laughs> you can't really, who you gonna be, you know? It's the buck stops with you. And and most men accept it. Yo, I love my woman. I love my kids. I die for my children. I die for my kids. I die for my woman. You know what I mean? A lot of, you know, if, like me, I'm like, yo, if she in pocket, then she, she going to be following my instructions, which going to be like, yo, you going to put yourself in a position because you're going to follow my instructions and I'm going to keep you away from danger. You know what I mean? The shepherd will do what he needs to do to defend him, defend his sheep, his sheep being the women that he have under him and the children he have under him. And he's the shepherd. He's the head. Everybody with common sense, they always default blame the man, don't they? Because at a, a deep level, they understand that the man is the head. He's, hey, he's a man, right? And they always want to look up to the man. But then you have the disease of feminism and, and you know, society that promotes that the woman is equal to a man. So control equals responsibility and responsibility equals control. The children can bring you to honor or dishonor. If you got an out-of-pocket 304 daughter, 
you know what I mean? Or your father, your son talk, turn into a fat, uh, 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 you know, a sodomite. You know what I mean? That's dishonor. You know what I mean? And so you be like, you know, that's a dishonor unto who? The father. Why? Because, oh, he's the head. See, when things go wrong, everybody looks to the head. And they say, oh, well, he's a man, right? He's supposed to do this, right? Well, guess what? Resp responsibility equals control and control equals responsibility. And if this person is not under my authority and follow my instructions, I am not responsible for this person anymore. So what Lawrence Fishburne do, uh, did, which was, uh, uh, you know, discommunicate himself from his daughter, was a righteous act. And in some cultures, the broad have been deleted. Why? Because she brought shame to her father. And I ain't saying, you know, it's American. You, you know what I mean? You, you can't carry on like that. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Some cultures still hold on to that. You know what I mean? That's why you got a lot of, even here in America, you got, I ran into a few days, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, uh, Cowdy and Chick, we had a decent conversation and stuff. But they hold on, you know, wearing a burqa, wearing all these different, uh, you know, more modest clothing. Not all of them, for sure. There's a lot of Arabs here in Detroit area and stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, a lot of Americanized, you know, you know what I mean? They in America and stuff. So, but they're still the patriarchal construct and they fear that the men uh, will put in place and exercise certain uh repercussions for actions in America it's all it's a free for all so the daughter or the son can bring shame to who the father because like yo these people represent your children represent your your, your son's a, a, fag, a, a faggot you understand or, you know what I mean your son is a, 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 a sodomite you understand me with red and green hair blonde hair you understand me that brings shame to you you're like dang I invested in this shit Excuse my blanket, you know what I mean? I invested in this nigga, you know what I mean? Now it's like freaking, I'm like, damn, I'm gonna put all this time, effort, and energy, and wisdom in this bastard mother. And then you're like, you're like, dang, the same thing with the daughter. Like, dang, I invested time, energy, I protected and guided. This, this, oh, now she a freaking hoe on OnlyFans? Like, what the, f you know what I'm saying? It's saying, and now you flip it to the woman, which is my main point. You understand? It's the same thing. A, a woman, your woman can bring you to honor or bring you to dishonor. Like, a, why is this your kids? Why? Because they, you are the tree. They are the branches. You understand me? Don't forget about popular culture that tells you uh, we all equal. Nah. When it goes down, if something happens, these extensions of you can all be like, well, hey, I'm a kid. Or other one, oh, well, hey, I'm, I'm just a wife. And he's a man. They point upwards to you. All of a sudden, when blame is to be applied, oh well, well hey, he's a man. He's a, I'm just I'm just a wife, right? You know what I mean? They relinquish responsibility. Oh what? No, I relinquish responsibility. No, he, he's a man. So, yeah, you know I mean, so because of that, control equals responsibility. Responsibility equals control. I am not responsible for anybody that I don't control. If you're not under my authority and following my instructions, you are not. <laughs> how can I take responsibility for you? I might, you know, say I love you or something, but yeah, bro. That's what I, I think that um, this video is talking about the essence of what like levels, what, what positions we supposed to be at, man. Man is the power, the master, the head of this whole doggone thing, the tree. Children are a derivative. Women are a derivative. Uh, wives are a derivative. There, you know, when things go wrong, somebody breaking in the house, but this and that happen, because they all can play victim. Oh well, you know, blah, 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 blah. so but who is reflect? Who is this reflected upon? You, me, as a man. So because this is reflected upon us as being the man, because of this, we must have control over those that are under us those that we are protecting with our umbrella and we don't have control with them uh, over them, guess what? We're not responsible for them. So if your woman is out of pocket, you know what I mean? And all of this, how can you, how can you be responsible for somebody that's out of pocket? It's something I was thinking about. I was like, uh, main thing I was thinking about is like how your woman can bring you to honor or bring you to dishonor. 
and she played the 304, she can always say, oh, it was so disappointing, and play, and, you know, cry, oh, God, you know, it was so hard, I, he was controlling, I just made the wrong decision, start crying a few tears, and everybody, oh, well, you know, they'll feel sorry for you, same thing with a kid, you know, Lawrence Fishburne daughter can be like, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I, and she, guess what? People are like, you know what? You did wrong. You, you was misguided and life life uh, uh, negatively afflicted you. And, you know what I mean? You had difficulties. There's uh, excuses built in. But for the man, there ain't no excuses built in. Right? It, who, who really going to... Like, nobody cares about our story, bro. Like, nobody cares about our <laughs> difficulties in life. And nobody, they don't care, bro. And it, and it could be absolutely 100% true. They just don't care, bro. So the point is, because they don't care, and because you're still responsible, you only need to be responsible for that which you control. Who are you controlling? Your... Yes, yes, I am controlling. Because you reflect me, not in the definition of controlling that you you mean, but yes, as a head, as a master, the leader of this situation, I must be controlling over my sheep, being my woman and my children. I must control the situation. I, what I'm going to do is just let my children, oh, well, you can go out. You can do what you want to do. No, a shepherd who actually cares about his, uh, everybody know this, everybody who has common sense understand that the man is a head, you know what I mean? All the, how are you going to be responsible for p potentially, pa you know, you know, if things happen, you might pass away. Protecting who? Your assets. Your assets are who? Your wife and your children. So how are you going to be responsible for something that you don't even control? If you tell somebody breaking the house, right? And you'd be like, yo, y'all go up in the room. Y'all stay in the closet. We locked and loaded. I'm going to call the police. But in the meantime, I don't know how long they're going to take to get here. So what I'm going to do, y'all stay in there. And you know what I mean? I, I got this. You know what I mean? So in that being the case, somebody come up, you know, in the room, pop, 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 I'm protecting, you know what I mean? I would go to war for who? Those who are under my authority. So in that case, she's like, no, I, I got a gun. I, you know, I got a gun too. I don't, I don't want to go in the club. I don't want to be protected. So then how you go, again, now we understand that with common sense, right? In that particular situation, if she ain't willing to be controlled and follow his authority, then how can he protect her? Now, of course, this is an extreme, the most extreme, right? Somebody breaking in the house. Look, go over here. Be quiet. Go in the closet or go in this area. Sound, shut up, right? We locked the load. Anybody come up here, I'm going to blast them, right? So if she like, nah, psh, man, forget you. Psh, man, I'm doing my own thing. If she be like, nah, I, I, I ain't going in no closet. Man, what you talking It's like, bitch, shut up, right? So how can you control a person? Now, in, in this extreme example, how can you protect this woman if she run off her freaking mouse and don't want to submit to what you're talking about? Of course, that's an extreme example. But in general, a woman needs to submit to the man's authority so that things don't even get to no extreme example. But in American society, uh, a man basically being a regular man is looked upon as toxic masculinity. Oh, you're controlling. But see, you know what I mean? They want you to control in certain spurts, times, and stuff. They want you to control, oh, well, hey, a man, suppose a, a, a pay for the dinner. Like, who, who are you to dictate what a man does? Man, you know, so this is some thoughts I had, man. Control is responsibility. Everything funnels up, man. When it comes to you, you like the umbrella over your women and your children, you know what I mean? And so if you ain't able to control and, and orchestrate and dictate how things go, how can protection occur? You understand me? How, if your, your daughter's giving herself up to the 304 and not following your instructions, after a while, you be like, you know, you're an idiot. Or your son, too, you're an idiot. I can't direct you. I can't guide you. You know what? You an idiot. Go out here. Go out here to the streets. Go out here to the world. Forget you. Same thing with your woman. You know, you a mouthy idiot female. You don't follow my instructions. You out of here. Bye. I have no control over you. I, you are not following. You are not following my authority. Forget you. Right? Go out here and just whatever happens to you, happen to. Right? I don't care. So controlling is responsibility. That's just my thoughts. 
That's just something I was thinking about, man. And uh, I was thinking about the main point is that how everything that your woman or women and your children do reflects on you. See what I mean? And because it reflects on you, why doesn't you know, boy, I put it like this. Because it reflects on you, that shows you that you're the head of this thing. You can't, but you can't internalize them misbehaving, them being out of line. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can't internalize that if you ain't over them. If you like, if you were a man and you direct, if you halfway and raggedy orchestrating and guiding, then yeah, of course, of course, the buck stops with you. But hey, man, if you ain't got no control of the situation, your kids out of pocket, they don't want to follow your instruction. Your woman out of pocket, she don't want to follow your instruction. Hey, man, you ain't responsible for these people, man. You tell them, you know, uh, woman, don't go out for girls' night and, and don't wear this, you know, tight clothes and nipples showing. I'm going to wear what I want. You don't tell me what. To. So guess what? Something happened to you. You know what I mean? See, you know what I mean? Don't, don't all of it. So something happened to you. <clears throat> now you want to cry. <clears throat> so my thought is like this. I don't want to deal with anybody who's going to taint. I don't want to continuously deal with anybody. A woman who won't follow my instructions, she had it for self-destruction. But also, she can destroy your reputation. You got a wife that's known as a big flirtatious female that's up in other dudes' faces and stuff. Man, that's destroying your reputation. I'm going to do what I want to do. It gets known that she is a strong-willed woman that do what she want to do and all this stuff. Man, <sighs> bruh, that's like some dudes like a feisty, spicy female. Oh, yeah, she, she, she argues with you, man. But <laughs> nah, man, forget that, bruh. Do what you told or leave. That's how I look at it. You know what I mean? Your kids be out of pocket. You know, if your kids is, is in line, following your instructions and carrying themselves as decent citizens and stuff, that's what? Honor to you. It's honorable to who? You as a father. But if they're out of pocket, your sons are you know, fighting, you know, yeah, rainbow coalition, your daughters are three or four, and the stripper pole, that brings what? Dishonor to you. So since all this stuff flows up to you, that means you're the head. And as the head, the king, the person that's actually in charge, why should I tell I'm not taking responsibility. They make their own decisions. I can't control what they do. So just something I was doing, something I was thinking about, man. You know, I just want to talk to you brothers on that, man. Don't internalize. Like, if you ain't got control over the situation, your woman ain't submitted to you. Most men, if this woman is really in, following his instructions, he going to guide the women and the children towards prosperity, towards health, towards peace, towards structure. A lot of these women don't want no structure. That's really the bottom line, the ins and outs of it, the top and the bottom of it. They don't want to follow no man's instructions. That's why they deal with simps. That's why they deal, you know what I mean? Basically, you know, some dude who going to co-sign everything they saying. But a man going to say, look, we're going to do this. And after that, we're going to do this. We got a plan. Women don't really, really like that. They like the chaos. They like the drama. They like to flip here and there. I want to free you. They be, especially westernized women, they renegade. Renegade 304s. They like doing what they want to do. So you can't be a renegade 304 and at the same time keep a hold a man responsible for what he's supposed to do. You out here basically as a, a renegade. And men only... We should only protect that which is under our control, under our guidance, under our umbrella, under under our direction, under our, you know what I mean, orchestration. Other than that, <laughs> what, what value is this chick, bro? And she, she just, you know, she ain't no value to you, bro. Your kid is out of pocket, you know, your daughter turned three or four. Look, man, you love your kids, pray for them, but look, man, do your, do your own thing. Don't call me. Don't do this, blah, blah, blah. Don't uh, 
you know, if you ain't following my instructions, like you ain't really even my my kid no more. You know what I mean? You ain't you ain't following my instructions. You ain't my woman. You know what I mean? You for the streets. You know what I mean? Because a man go guide his woman and his children away from the streets and the things like of the world that can destroy them. But if they don't want to follow the instructions, then pff, sadly and uh, stuff, man, you gotta be like, dang, man, you gotta go. <laughs> so this is something I was thinking about, brothers. Anyways, man, like, share, subscribe. And if you brothers want to donate to the channel, man, I appreciate your donations and support of this doggone channel, man. We've been kicking and screaming for a minute. But anyways, man, uh, like, share, subscribe, donate to the channel. And if you want to email me, go ahead and do so. I wish your brothers the best. Peace.